Doesn't matter who you are, environment, child or prop artist, from time to time you will need to use uh, seamless textures and not all the time you will be able to use the uh, Substance Designer or Quixel Mixer. So let's talk how to create it in a ZBrush or Substance Painter. In order to achieve that, we just need to create a few templates for that, which will be beneficial for you as it will speed up your workflow. Ok, so let's start preparation for a substance. So in general we will create a polygon plane. I will increase a bit size. Ok, and I've maintained the size scale in order to fit the grid. It will be more easier for me. Ok, so let's open the UV editor. Let's scale it up. Basically, as you can see, in all programs, when you create a plane, cube, or something like that, it will be already unwrapped. In our cases, it's a plane, and plane is perfectly unwrapped in uh, UV space. Okay, so what we need to do next, just duplicate the plane and place it side by side. Do not rotate the Plane, just copy as it is. Okay. I will enable wireframe in order to see better. And on the UV editor, I will enable borders. So, as you can see, we have a lot of planes which sharing. UV space and yeah, which are overlapping UV space, let's say. Yeah, so basically, if we will just combine, combine all meshes and export it, Okay, so we can open the Substance Painter, select our plane, and check it. And as you can see, we can create a texture. Which will be seamless. Great, so let's move to the ZBrush. Okay, so let's try to make it. Okay, so let's try to make a template for a ZBrush. So let's create a polygon plane. Once again, I'll try to scale it a bit to stay on the grid. Okay, so we'll do the same thing. I'll just duplicate, snap to the grid and maintain the borders i mean i won't rotate the the plane okay so basically i will, I will enable wireframe in order to see the mesh better okay so we have a main plane and around it we have all that mesh okay so we have a main plane let's say and I will duplicate one plane as a reference. I will move it uh, right now to the bottom. Maybe. Okay. So right now, what we need to make, and uh, the biggest difference is that we need the UVs of these planes to align in the same order, like. Uh, we can see in, the, in our view in the viewport. Okay, so let's open UV editor. We'll go to transform, select the move the one UV shell. Okay, so let's select the object, let's move to the UVs, and as you can see from the viewport. 
we have this uh, object on the left so just move the same way in the uh, view editor move to the left okay so that one will be in the left top so left and top that one move to the top top left oops top right 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 bottom that one bottom and that one bottom left okay just select them all and verify if everything is okay and it looks fine now we deselect the bottom one which was uh, like a reference okay so what we can do right now we can merge them all go to mesh combine now freeze transformation hours of the bottom one we'll just move it aside a bit okay so for that one big one what we need to do probably I will get back with that small one reference in order to see what kind of size previously was main shape so probably I will extend a bit so for a few quads okay so maybe we will select it something like that looks properly okay yeah good will be good I've deleted uh, the rest which we don't need it as well as you can see everything maintained in the UV space okay so what we need to do next I will select the same amount of the grid as that plane more selection okay I will go to the vertex mode double check and I will merge the vertices okay it looks fine uh, probably I was forgotten to, to merge the, the vertices okay so I will select uh, the same amount previously like that something like that okay I'll just press shift and dot to increase the selection and subdivided ones I'll press again shift and dot and subdivide it again shift and dot and subdivide it again oh, by the way if you want to subdivide go to a mesh smooth great basically what do we have we have uh, such plane which already subdivided which have perfect UVs for that okay so basically we just completed the plane next we will rename it freeze the transformation ex and export now we'll move that uh, plane into the center a bit lower transformation we'll freeze for that one as well and I will name the bottom one as a reference or a receiver because when you will sculpt on that one you will try to project all details to the to the second one okay so and that one it will be so it's yellowish yes extra great so let's export it the same folder previously we exported the substance painter template it will be a zbrush scout template zero 
and below reference okay so export zbrush reference zero one okay so let's open the zbrush probably first of all what we need to do we need to maintain the document in the equal square size so probably we'll choose the 800 okay so resize it import zbrush reference template okay i will just change on that it doesn't matter of course but just tell so we have a reference template i will duplicate it and import it sculpt template great okay so what we need to do in order to sculpt we need to properly set it up in, in that our document so let's select the reference template okay, hide it as you can see it's less division it's a reference template i will just press frame key it will be f or uh, can be all as you can see frame it hide it and i will go to the our zebra scope template and as you can see everything is cool everything is set up okay so we have a standard brush and uh, if we will choose a standard brush we we'll try to sculpt nothing is happening and here i have a wrap mode and as you can see when i am enabling it scopes in seamless mode how to achieve it where to find the wrap mode okay so let's go to the brush under the curve there's the wrap mode the same thing as you can see and as you will be using on each brush i mean by default as you can see it won't be working without a wrap mode so just a tip create a shortcut in order to work on the seamless textures it will be much more easier and faster thank you and goodbye